I'm Dana Marie from Pitch List, the Songwriters Podcast, and right now I'm here with Brandon Ray, who just performed. How are you, Brandon? I'm doing good. It's I'm sweaty, but I'm good. <laughs> uh, but good. All right. You just performed. It was amazing. How did that feel with the crowd and everything? It felt awesome. It was raining all morning. I was like, I don't think anybody, I don't think this show's going to happen. All of a sudden, the sun came out. Everybody showed up. It was really cool. It all works out in the end. <laughs> it does, yeah. So you just released a brand new single, Bring Your Love Back. Um, I love it. It's super edgy, super different than what you've released in the past. Um, so can you talk a little bit about like creating that song and maybe the story behind it? Yeah, so um, I, I appreciate that, by the way. Um, we released it about three weeks ago, and uh, we wrote it at the beginning of this year. Uh, me, my buddy Nathan Spicer, and a girl named Kelly Archer, they're behind so many other hits, too. Um, but I was just like, man, I just want to write something different, you know, just something that kind of has like a, a little R and B in it, a little bit of rock, a little bit of nineties throwback. And, uh, uh, I just signed a deal with Keith Urban and he's producing all the music and, and he heard it and he was like, we got to record this thing, you know? So one thing led to another and we started putting it in our, in our live show and it just got a great response and we just, we just had to release it. That's awesome. I, mean, I think it's a fun summer bop. It's going to be great. <laughs> um, but what was it like working with Keith Urban? I mean, that has to be amazing. Yeah, it's, it's honestly, it's just, it's too cool working with your hero. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we, you know, you turn on the radio any second and you'll probably hear Keith Urban and um, he's just been such a mentor uh, musically um, and, and even in just in life, just, just such great advice and uh, uh, guidance and everything. And so I don't know. I'm just, I'm still speechless about working with him. So. That's amazing. So, I mean, you definitely have some blues and rock influence, you know, heavy influence in your music. How do you stay true to that sound and those influences while being a country artist in Nashville? It's funny. I, I grew up listening. I mean, my I say my house was like a music. It was musical gumbo. Like my mom would turn on all the 90s country, 80s country and the current stuff. And my dad would play all the blues and rock and jazz and my brothers introduced me to Metallica and Aerosmith so it was like coming from every direction but I don't know I just think you know instead of chasing what everybody else is doing just kind of doing what who doing doing things that I am you know writing music that's me uh and that's just true to myself and that may be pop leaning that may be rock leaning but it's it's me you know yeah I think that's really admirable and I think that's honestly what fans want you know when they hear something that's honest and genuine people people flock to it i think so and i mean i think fans are smart i think they can tell you know what's real and what's not and i think the best advice that i heard was you can't fake real you know and and if you try to it's going to be sniffed out and it's not going to be received really well mm -hmm. So what can fans and listeners expect next in terms of new music for you? I mean, can you tell us about an upcoming EP, an album? Can you say anything about that? Yeah, so I'm actually going to be doing an all-Spanish polka album. No, I'm just kidding. That sounds amazing. We would love to hear that. <laughs> no, uh, we, we've been in the studio recording like crazy. And, I mean, we I do sell an EP out on the road. Um, but... Honestly, like, I think it's a singles world right now. You know, we're just releasing single by single, letting each song kind of shine uh, with just all the music out there these days. You know, releasing like five, six songs at a time is, is kind of tough because you want those songs to, to be heard. So right now we've just released, uh, you know, two singles in a row. We're going to release another one and then probably complete the EP. So. Do you have a favorite song that's going to be on the EP so far? Um, honestly, bring your love back. I couldn't wait to record that song. I couldn't wait to release it. Um, there's another song that I released uh, a few months ago called, called small talking. Um, so but I don't know, like, I just, I'm just thankful to be able to make music honestly and, and, and have people that want to listen to it. Um, so all that new music is, is going to be coming out soon. That's awesome. Well, I think you're about to explode onto the scene. <laughs> I can't wait. So thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thanks for watching, everyone. For more coverage on this year's CMA Fest, go check out our social media or go to pitchlistpodcast.com. See you next time.